hello everyone welcome back guys thank you for coming back again so this is the part two of the video i already started where i was talking about the things i love and hate about winnipeg okay so the first part of the video i talked about the things i love about winnipeg and today i'm going to be talking about the things i do not love about winnipeg as in these things eh ah ah if i could have my way hmm? because of these reasons i would have said no i'm going to another province but then i think the love outweighs the i don't know i'll let you guys be the judge of that okay don't forget to like this video subscribe turn on post notifications and all of the good stuff and also very importantly please go and show me love on my other social media channels i'm going to put their links in the description box i'm also going to put them up here so you can have them okay thank you so much so let's get into the video of today let's talk about the things i do not love about living in winnipeg right So about things i do not love remember i said when i was talking about things i love i told you that i got um my colleagues opinion also other people's opinions about things they do not love so this is an all-inclusive um list of things we do not love we do not love about living in winnipeg and the very first thing i'm sure you guys can guess can you guess the very first thing i do not love the weather yes you are correct the weather oh no winnipeg has one of the coldest weather when it comes to winter and it has the hottest when it comes to summer guys the winnipeg weather is not nice at all it is not nice in any way as a matter of fact even people that have been here for more than 10 12 that have been here for 15 years still complain about the weather yes mm -hmm. people who were born here then who am i to say i love the weather please <laughs> Even people, you know, as in, I'm being, guys, I'm being very sincere with you guys now. People that have been here for 12, 15 years still say, they complain about winter. Oh, this weather, I hate this weather so much. Then who am I to love it? Guys, I don't love the weather. It is not nice at all. It is so harsh for me. Coming from a country that our normal temperature is 30, 32. Now coming to a temperature that I'm in minus 32, minus 40. Please, guys no i don't love it please i don't love it so the one thing i do not love is the weather all right guys so the next thing that i do not love about living in winnipeg is the roads the bad roads <laughs> guys winnipeg is always fixing the roads all year round in fact i think the only time they take a break from fixing road is winter so when we came in in summer we found out that they were fixing road, they were fixing road. And then I've read it before that ah, Winnipeg has bad roads. So they were fixing road, they were fixing road. And then um, winter, of course, snow fell. And then only for me to go out and see again the roads. I was like, is this not the roads that were just filled? Is this not the roads that were fixed when we came in? The roads are bad again. And guys, really, I can understand. I understand it's because of the snow. So because the weather is so bad and the snow is so much and they have these um, snow movers or snow clearers, you know, this very big scrape the ground for, you know, to get away the snow just so the if the roads can be safer for cars to pass so i guess while they are scraping they're also scraping some of those elements and then water it melts it freezes again and then they scrape again guys the road in winnipeg is bad <laughs> i don't know if you guys have seen in some of my videos when we are walking and then you're like you know this bumpy road of course it's not as bad as what you think it's not as bad as what we find in some countries especially in the country where i'm from it's not those kind of bad roads but the point is that they they actually so they keep fixing those roads right they are bad but they keep fixing them so i'm sure when it comes to summer again hmm, the road construction that is going to be going on is won't be small and that's one thing i really do not like so because of the constructions there's now traffic well, not that kind of traffic you're thinking about. The traffic is as real as result of diversions and then traffic lights. But the point that of the thing I do not love is that the road is no is not good. It's not good. I never expected it. I never knew that it was gonna be you no, know, the roads are not good. So the next one I want to talk about that I do not love is that what it is too slow. Ugh. 
coming from Lagos, Nigeria. Guys, you can agree with me now. We lived in some place like Lagos, Nigeria. It is too slow for me. Yes, things are slow. If you send an email, it's going to take them eternity to reply. Um, road users. Of course, I know they are being low and abiding and all of that. They are so slow. And you're like, go, go, go before the traffic light goes. And then they are just, everyone is taking their time. Everyone is, guys, it's just too slow for me. That's all I'm going to say about that. For me, for me, this is my opinion, okay? It's a very soft life. If you're someone who does not like soft life, then I don't know. Then if you're someone who loves soft life, brother, then you're going to love it. But for me, I love soft life, but it's too, you know now. Ah. Let's just leave that one where it is, okay? Now, another thing I do not love about Winnipeg, which my colleagues also agreed with me, was the fact that it is not a very lively city. Yes, there's no hustling and bustling. Like, in their words, if you go to BC or you go to Toronto, you have sky right there you have skywalk casinos in the middle of the city there's so much noise and i think it also relates to the fact that it's slow right there's so much fun activities like in winnipeg if you want to go to like the mountains or you want to you have to drive like solo you have to go like almost out of city i don't know where you find those fun places like the clubs if you're someone who goes to clubs well i don't go to clubs so i think it's fine for me but if there's someone who goes to clubs and all of that, you have to go to the downtown part of the city. And we are coming to the downtown part of the city, okay? So for me, it's not a very lively city. If you want to have fun, the fun you have is maybe, I don't know, going to the parks, going to the lakes. As in, there's no beach. There's no natural beach like that, like that. You know those Blue Waters Beach? I think they said there's one or two of them, but you have to drive like three hours. Uh -uh right now so for me in my opinion it's not a very lively city it's not a very lively city compared to some other places you know i was seeing a video that someone posted online of a city and then it was just there it was obvious right in the middle of city you have this spinning wheel you have these lights exactly you know what i'm saying you know those like new york those pictures we see of new york where there's lights and then people are you have this dance mob where people just stand in the middle of the road and then start dancing you know that kind of fun and liveliness is not here everybody is just <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm so sorry guys everybody is just <laughs> it's so boring and oh please okay so that's one thing i do not love about winnipeg it's not like guys if you hear me say this now you think oh i'm an outgoing person i go out i don't but you know is the abroad now we expect some sort of hustling and bustling there's none of that here another thing i do not love oh god is the non-reliable transit the transit system in winnipeg is annoying it is what it is annoying why did i say it is annoying compared to also for my colleagues because i've not been out of winnipeg before I haven't taken any bus transit before other places else but also from what i've heard of people from people from people's opinion also from what i've experienced like there are times you are the bus you've checked oh the bus is going to be here in five minutes and you are there waiting only for you to check again to find out that it has been cancelled cancelled and i've been here for how long no so it's not reliable and then at times also because of the weather when there's very harsh weather conditions they get delayed even cancelled at least if it's cancelled you know another one is coming is the one that you are thinking oh it's gonna be here in five minutes and then it comes here earlier it's just a very tedious process for me and then you have to keep checking your phone to see when the bus is gonna be here next hope it's not cancelled and then sometimes the bus comes and you are standing okay if you are coming from nigeria you guys you know how you used to stand inside brc now how we stand and we hold something yes you will stand here <laughs> I guess also because they do not have so many buses and then they do not have enough drivers and so when the bus comes it's so full especially if it is rush hours in the morning or lunch time or closing time guys you will stand or you will hold and stand and some of those drivers they are not nice at all they just press the brake and then oh god that's something i don't want to remember so please for that i do not love the transit system Another thing I do not love about Winnipeg is the fact that it is not 
unsafe should i put it that way it's an unsafe city now not all part of winnipeg now i read an article that says that winnipeg prides itself in being one of the unsafest is that english correct he prides himself in being one of the capitals of crime although that has changed you know several I, i'm happy with the fact that the law enforcement and all of that are doing a lot of work in making sure that winnipeg becomes safer you know i spoke now i'm gonna quote exactly what she said one of my colleagues said when she got to winnipeg there are times she's gonna be passing by and then she's just gonna see dead body on the road yeah it was that bad although those dead bodies are usually from people who use drugs and then crimes and those places of the city that are usually on sale at the downtown don't don't be scared don't say hey i use drugs oh no i'm not coming anymore no the places that's why i usually don't advise people not to uh, that's why i usually advise people not to get accommodations in some parts of the town in the downtowns of course already and then to think that downtowns so what i heard is that downtowns in other places like toronto downtown you know, BC downtown is sweet. It's a lovely place where you have lights and, you know, fun things are going on there. But you see, the downtown of Winnipeg is not safe. And to think that is where the offices are, the legislative building is there, the CRA office is there, the Canada, government of Canada office is downtown, right? The offices, you find the high-rise buildings there, the offices there. But at night, it's not one of the safest places for you to be. There can be hijackings, there can be theft and all of that. So it's not because of the fact that there are some parts of the city that are not safe and that's where people walk. So if you are someone who is walking and then you are closing at 8 p.m., 9 p.m., it's not really the best for you. So because of that, that's one of the reasons why I do not love Winnipeg. But so far, I think the government is really doing a lot in covering all of these things and making sure the crimes, you know, go down. And I'm also happy, happy with the fact that where I am, there's not so much of that there. So, yeah. Yes, another thing I do not love about Winnipeg, guys, is, I don't know, there's a lot of drug use. Yes, there's a lot of drug use. There's a, so I volunteer at a place where, um, as a center, the community health center, and um, there's a lot of drug use. The drug use in Winnipeg is a lot. Like you're going past, and then I think they legalize some things like cannabis. You go around, and then before you go to three shops, you found a cannabis shop. And then for me, I really do not like the fact that there's a lot of, it's almost like they're encouraging. I know there's laws and then there are conditions and then to to people being allowed to buy those drugs. Or, but drug use is too, it's open. Like people use drugs openly in almost some places. Like it was coming back to downtown again. You go to downtown, you find that people use drugs openly. And so people are so wasted. And then you have a lot of, even in downtown again, the bus, some of the bus stations where people are going, supposed to wait when it's cold, like, right? They have these shelters. Yes, bus shelters where people are supposed to maybe wait in when it's cold outside while they wait for their bus has been taken over by these drug drug users, okay? So because of that, I really do not like the fact that um, some parts of the city are so swamped with drug users and then they do this openly. And then I just wish that there's a way that the government can... Um, I know they try. There are times I'm in downtown and I see the police guys, the law enforcement... The police, I said the police guys, are they called police? Yes, the police department or some special agents that has been assigned to that. You see, moving around, trying to see that they um, take the drugs from people that are using and all of that. But still, it still exists and it's still there. And I feel one of the ways that um, they can curb this is also to reduce some of the ways, some of these cannabis shops and then, you know, all of that. So that's my opinion. And the last one. The very last, but before I talk about the last one, have you subscribed? Tell me, what shall it profit a man not to subscribe to this channel or a woman? Please subscribe, okay? Like, turn on post notifications. If there's any other reason you think I've not mentioned as to why you personally do not love Winnipeg, please let me know in the comment section, okay? And I'll talk about the last one. The last reason, at least for now, why I do not love Winnipeg is mosquitoes. Yes, you heard me, guys. There is mosquito in Winnipeg. I'm not sure. I don't know about other provinces or other cities. But hey, 
there is mosquitoes especially in summer when you go out when you go to the beaches or you go to the lake or you go to a park <laughs> you will see mosquito and these mosquitoes eh hmm. i remember there was a time we went to the we went to a park yes and then we were like we sprayed we had to spray um the mosquito repellent thing all over our body these mosquitoes are very annoying mosquitoes the mosquitoes here they are annoying they are big although compared to like nigeria where i'm coming from where the mosquitoes cause malaria these ones i don't think they cause malaria or anything but still mosquitoes are mosquitoes right they are annoying animals they are annoying creatures god i know you created them you know but please these creatures are very annoying they are annoying so yes if you don't know yes there are mosquitoes in winnipeg and they are not small mosquitoes they are big ones so get ready for your mosquitoes <laughs> all right so i hope you've enjoyed this video so far guys i enjoyed i enjoyed talking about things i love and i hate about living in winnipeg i hope you enjoyed the video also please if you do please do the needful okay thank you you know what i mean do the needful thanks t for thanks all right till i see you again in the next video i say bye for now Thank <laughs> you.